Wow. Yeah, that peanut butter flavor. Is Holy really mother of mercy. Strong. <laughs> that is really good. Hi everyone. Today we have some very exciting <laughs> food to try. This is the new Rebel Creamery uh, low carb high fat ice cream. Mm. And uh, this has been a long time coming. I backed this Kickstarter project months ago and I bought in at the level where you get as a reward four pints of your choice. And at the time they were offering four flavors, vanilla, chocolate, peanut butter, and cookie dough. And I picked one of each. And then they later released other flavors. Mint chip was one of them and that's one of my favorite ice cream flavors. So of course I swapped out the chocolate for mint chip because who cares about chocolate? So um, if you haven't heard of Rebel Creamery, they are a low carb, high fat, keto friendly, no sugar ice cream. And um, that's what makes them different than some of the other like healthy ice creams that are on the market because most of the other ones are not high fat. They might be low carb and they might be low calorie or they might be high protein, but they're not low fat. So I actually have a couple other ones just to like compare. So this is an Enlightened, which a lot of people like, and this mm. is actually the Enlightened Mint Chocolate Chip. And it has in a half a cup, which all of these are half a cup servings and there's four per pint. So in a half a cup, it has um, like five grams of net carbs compared to, Oh, I'll quick do some math. <laughs> one gra wait, one gram? No, I can't math. What's 11 minus three minus seven? That's one. That's one. Well, then why is it six? Oh, it's six grams per pint. But, that would, but that would be four. There's, it's like one and a half probably. Okay, know, well, whatever. Know. Anyway, it's more <laughs> net carbs first. Sure. Um, this one is six grams of protein. This one's only two. Uh, but for fat, this one is two and a half grams of fat, the Enlightened, and the Rebel Creamery is 15 grams of Holy fat. So again, you want high fat. They're actually made with heavy whipping cream. Oh, and I, I've gotten all their updates, and so I like saw all their scientific things about how they had to like formulate things and, the, and what they were going through. Yeah, high fat, low carb, yeah, high fat. Yeah, I thought they were just trying to do like buzzwords to like attract keto They're diet. actually... It really is high fat. It says wow. keto on here. Yeah, no, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, so I, like, I read all their updates about how they were like formulating this because there's a lot of extra stuff they had to go through mm -hmm. to make it mm -hmm. high, be able to be high fat and make it with actual heavy whipping cream. Um, so just as another comparison, um, you know what, wait, let me... Halo top? I actually have peanut butter halo top. Let me compare to that one. Hold for editing. We eat a lot of ice cream. Hold for editing. <laughs> So here's the peanut butter halo top. So compared to the Rebel Creamery peanut butter fudge. Can I read them all? Yeah. Um, so peanut butter halo top is the six, six net carbs in a serving, which is just half a cup. This one is two grams of net carbs wow. in a serving. Uh, halo top has five grams of protein. Rebel Creamery is three. So halo top has three and a half grams of fat. And Rebel Creamery has 19. Holy so, mother of mercy. But that's good. Again, no, that's what you so, want. If you are doing an actual keto diet, this is what you want. If you're following some other kind of diet where you want like low levels of everything, then yeah. Halo Top or Enlightened is fine. If, but if you're really trying to eat low carb and high fat, then these are what you want. And if somehow you want to get your protein through ice cream, these might be the ones that go. You know, it's really hard for me to get my protein. I've said that before. So we this are going is, this to. This is very interesting. Yeah, so we're going to no try idea. the four flavors. I think yeah. I would just have like a spoonful. Bring each. it. And I kind of put them in order sure. by. Sure. Means gotta be last. Yeah, so vanilla first, just to get a sense of like the sure. original cookie dough, sure. peanut sure. butter, Absolutely. mint chip. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's crack into these. And does it, do we need to mention. Look how beautiful. Do we need to mention that I have like a 32 year experience? Oh, yeah, this? he has like a family ice cream business, so he's eaten um, a lot of ice cream. Since 1985. And so. also I wanted to mention the way that they came shipped. These actually came yesterday by FedEx. They were packed beautifully in a box full of dry ice. Everything was like completely frozen and frosty mm -hmm. and it's like 90 degrees out at least. Mm -hmm. They did sure. an excellent job shipping them. All right, so let's um, let's break. Ooh. Credentials should be mentioned is all I'm saying. Look how nice and creamy that is. Well, at this, at this butter fat, yeah. Mmm. No, it's, it's, it's going to taste like butter probably. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's amazing. That's a great mm -hmm. vanilla flavor. That's really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, vanilla, two thumbs up. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it almost tastes like cool if it's so fatty. Yes, that's... that's that really... reminds me, 
of the, of the Nell we had back in the 90s in my parents' restaurant. This guy made um, really heavy, heavy vanilla. It tasted like that. What's well, Very super, buttery yeah. and yeah, no, that's really good. All right, so let's move on to cookie dough. Mm -hmm. All right, so cookie dough, there's not a lot to see. There's just like some flecks of some chocolate chips you might see in it. I'm hoping to get a dough chunk because mm -hmm. I love cookie. Cookie dough mm -hmm. and mint chip are probably my top two well, favorite ice cream flavors. Clearly maple walnut yeah. and rum raisin, obviously. Okay. If you're an advanced. Mm. Whoa, this cuts like clay. That's really uh, It probably thick. could have sat stood to sit out a little longer, but what No, it's it's no it's, it's a good it's a good texture. You can tell it's a good texture, it's just tough to cut. It definitely is there's wait, some, here's there's, a chunk. There's wait, I wanna get a dough chunk. Alright. And um even in some of their updates mm -hmm. they said oh, how yeah. they Wow. Yeah. Wow, no, that's that's really good stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they um mm -hmm. they shared how they formulated like their dough pieces to make them Low carb. They sh these guys should be billionaires in a year. <laughs> this is game. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cookie dough, two thumbs up. Oh, I've, I've, so far, <laughs> no. Uh, I'll be honest. It almost has like a maple aftertaste. I don't know if it was something that's in the dough chunk. I'm, I'll be honest with you. Uh, just judging on the facts of how much fat's involved, I was ready to give two thumbs up regardless because <laughs> the numbers are there. It's, it's you can't mess this up. Okay, so here is peanut butter fudge. So it also, it's like a little darker color ice mm -hmm. cream. These last two were clearly just plain. And then there's some little like chips or flecks or chunks in it. True. So let's give this one a try. Okay. Right, this is, this is, um, yeah, this is the, mm. this is the good kind of ice cream consistency of one. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, almost a dry kind of thick clay material, not like a gummy, Wet that's kind of that's really that's some, there's good some chunks and right there. peanut buttery. Oh, whoa some, my god! There's some fudge chunks we just hit. Ooh, that Holy peanut butter flavor is so good. Wow. Yeah, that peanut butter flavor. Is Holy really mother of mercy! Strong. <laughs> that is really good, and I'm 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 not a big peanut butter ice cream fan. I I'm not against any ice cream really, but it, 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 given the choice, peanut butter is not usually my go-to because it takes over the palate so widely. Even though I usually like that kind of food. Where the palate gets annihilated. It, I mean, it, it's like a good roasty. That's, yeah, that sticks to the ribs. That's a real. <laughs> that is a like it does not at all taste fake, or or butterfingery or it is like that's like real roasted peanuts. Like that is really good. The all fat right. again. The fat is where all this magic is yeah. happening. So last one is mint chip. Mm, I just well, took no. a sniff. It smells like like mint. It smells good. Mm. So again, it's kind of vanilla-y mm. colored. It's not green or anything. Mm. And then just with some little chocolate this is, flecks um, in it. This is really some game-changing material. This is history here. Hope with this video. Oh, I, this is. I'm sure this is. Mm. Yeah. Uh oh. My brother. I gotta. My brother loves mint chip also, big time. So I gotta bring him some of this. Um, That's a. The texture is so good. My brother makes the argument that mint chip is the best flavor when drunk. That's his. <laughs> that's his. We've had arguments, long arguments about that. But mint and it's chip. Such a, the mint flavor is like so. Oh wow. I don't know how to describe it. Not subtle. It's so like, creamy. No. It's not. That's like, high quality stuff. It's like mature. It's not like kids. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like a grown up. That's mint an chip. adult mint chip. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Um. Again, that kind of really fatty. Dry consistency, smooth texture, not icy so far at all. We haven't been freezer burn or anything. But my family owned an ice cream uh, restaurant for 32 years, and we went through different companies. And for about 10 of those, almost 10 of those, we had a company um, that provided very high fat, um, premium ice cream. And these are giving me flashbacks of the of the mid to late 90s when we had this distributor who made this ice cream nearby it like it carved just like that clay kind of kind of kind of chunk uh, 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 not so much brittle but like you could carve it flaky 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 not gummy and you're getting your s spoon stuck in it you just cut right through this is giving me major flashbacks to probably the, the best era of ice cream <laughs> that my family ever sold and that was uh and it was because of the high fat content, um, super premium. Is there any um, that you want to go back to for another? Man, bite? I mean that peanut butter, 
you know, the vanilla, I, I kind of like the, it's, it, after all the other flavors, the vanilla is kind of like a vanilla. palate cleanser. Just, uh, uh, but, um, I mean, look, it just, look at it, that professional it, scoop. It, it cuts, it cuts just <laughs> perfectly. It, it must have low air content also. It's not, it looks almost like hot. You know what, you would, you would appreciate all the, like, technical updates Absolutely. and things that they sent us. Because they they really did share a lot about the manufacturing Man. process. You know, there was some delays just due to, once they scaled it up to, like, factory is, level, that there was delays in figuring out, like, how to produce certain things. The one thing, uh... This is almost like a like a like a high quality single malt in in a world of craft uh, because um, this is not coming from the perspective of it's really good for keto. No, this is good straight as ice cream. I'm not I'm not judging this based on the low carb diet. I'm basing this on the credentials of what I consider a decent ice cream. I don't, I'm. Th the diet to me is not part of this, even though it is clearly. I mean, advertising to keto. If you were not doing keto, this would be a boom. really unhealthy ice cream to eat, though. I mean, it's really high in. No, fat. no, yeah, no. If you were if you were eating carbs normally, and then you ate that, you're dead. Um, <laughs> the other brands you mentioned, without a doubt, this is easily the best I've ever had, and I've even put this up with some of the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. Again. With that kind of high fat content, that's where the good stuff is. If you want a comparison, have some of this sometime, and then go get some Dairy Queen. <laughs> Dairy Queen uses Dairy, Queen's not Dairy Queen uses one percent ice milk, and it's loaded with sugar. Um, in terms of like the creaminess and the butteriness, the vanilla almost tastes like butter. Like you're, it's almost like unsalted butter. It it really is. So uh, my my thumbs up are not from the perspective even of keto. It's just, this is just a high craft ice cream that is really, I can't believe where we got in this early on, on a company. Well, <laughs> I'm excited to see it once it gets yeah. into stores. I don't know that I've see, seen that any stores are carrying it. And right now, obviously, the shipping is kind of what makes it yeah. prohibitively expensive. This reminds me of the kind of stuff that's like very well made, but Americans might not appreciate it. And it might just get beaten out by Halo Top just by sheer numbers. I don't know. A lot um, of people have been very excited about this but, for a long time and talking about it for a long time. They got, oh, I forgot to mention, for their Kickstarter, they needed to raise $25,000. They raised over 80000 So there's obviously people who are interested and mm -hmm. willing to pay for something like this and want to see it happen. You feel like you're eating top quality yeah, Haagen-Dazs. The high fat makes up for Exactly. So this company is, is really got their finger on the pulse for the low carb, high fat diet. So overall, thumbs up. Oh, beyond. <laughs> a, 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 every thumb I have, uh, I'd borrow some of the cat's thumbs. And honestly, uh, wow. No, this is really some of the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. And my family owned a restaurant as early as 85. So, Peter. <laughs> so, you yeah, know, so absolutely. This is, um, this is extremely, just the, just the, and the mint, I'm, I can still, the, wow, no, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, I guess, to some extent, because it is, you don't get the feeling like you're on some special diet or something. Well, it's not, I mean, it feels that's, normalcy. That, that's kind of how the, the secret of the keto diet works in general. The high fat mm -hmm. makes things so rich, you mm -hmm. don't feel like you're missing out. Yeah, on I don't need any more. Stuff, I'm so. good. Four, four teaspoons, four I'm, gonna... I'm good to go. Yeah. I'm, I'm full. Good. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us today. If you mm -hmm. enjoyed this, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. <laughs> subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time